First at four, one of the two suspects arrested in connection with the double homicide on Hathaway Street in Providence late last month was seen in front of a judge today. 29 year old Miguel Perez is facing eight felony counts. 12 News reporter Matt Paddock was in the courtroom for the arraignment today. And Matt, what can you tell us? Well, Sarah Kim, as you talk about that courtroom right there, it was heavily guarded as more than a dozen law enforcement officers in uniform uniform were there as Miguel Perez was arraigned. Miguel Perez walking into a Providence District Courtroom. Yes, I'm sure. Are you Miguel Perez? Yes. Hands cuffed, a sling around his neck and arm. Do I have a, uh, an eight count complaint. Uh, each count lets be felony in nature. Inside of that courtroom, more than a dozen officers watching on. According to court documents, Perez is facing eight felony counts. Two of those counts for murder. One count conspiracy to commit the murder of Brian Fernandez, as well as one count of conspiring together with Tyler Freeman to commit the murder of Shrylock Ross. Freeman, the second suspect in this case, was arrested yesterday in Norton, Massachusetts. The driver was drawn there by a falsehood. That's all I'll say. Okay, um, and that's it was it was set up to murder him. As the judge read the charges, count two murder of uh, Sorelka Ross. Perez shaking his head, apparently disagreeing with the charges. So I'm going to issue an order that Mr. Perez in this case is held without bail. Are there any other conditions of uh, matter being before the court at this time? No, Judge. Outside of the courthouse, a heightened police presence. Providence Police Chief Colonel Oscar Perez sharing a strong message at yesterday's news conference. Those that want to come to the city and commit violent crimes will be held accountable. I have the almost confidence in the detective division and the men and women that day in and day out conduct themselves in a professional manner. Perez is also being charged as a bail violator in Superior Court and is also facing charges out of Warwick. Live in Providence, Matt Paddock, 12 News.